Good morning, I'm Kensei and welcome to Dragon Trek. My plan today was to be one of the first out of camp, but guess what? I wasn't. I was one of the last again packing up my gear in the morning. Takes me a lot of time apparently. It's I need to get more efficient <coughs> with that. Start earlier too, I guess. And make a combination of that work for me. I ran into my first ridge runner today. He told me that there are usually a lot of people who want to uh, tent at Gooch Mountain and to uh, set up tent on one of the sides of the tenting platforms or, or the area where you can tent so that as many people as possible can get uh, some place to sleep or set up their tent. Okay, let's... Uh, Follow the trail now. It's a little precautious with a drop on my left, but we should be fine. These are not the droids you're looking for. I'm not sure why I thought of that comment, that quote, but I did. Oh. Okay. Should be a little less than. Eight miles today is somewhere around 7.5 or so. Not the hardest day. Yesterday was faster than I expected for me. Took less time, so I hope it will take less time today too. Maybe I can clock in at six hours or something. We'll see. Okay, yeah, I started like 10 minutes past 5. No, <laughs> I meant 5 minutes past 10. Okay. Let's see. Crossing water with my camera on for the first time. Well, when it wasn't on the bridge. But, yes. Okay. Oh. A little cool this morning. It was cold last night. Uh, I didn't feel cold, but I was shivering, so I guess I was. Uh, went to bed around 8, after 8. Don't know when I fell asleep. Woke up around midnight and probably fell asleep a couple of times off and on. Uh, And, uh, oh yeah, I actually cooked food on my burner for the first time ever. Uh, and what else? I know there's something else. I'm not remembering what it was right now. I don't know. Well, I'll see you guys later. Well, it's warmer today, so no beanie and sunglasses. And I even in my short sleeves. It does feel like I'm hiking slower today, but it's been a lot of ups. And right now we're going down. So I decided to bring out the camera for a little bit. I did run into a guy that I'm splitting cabin with in, at Blood Mountain Cabins. But I've also heard rumors that it's going to rain all Friday.
and we were planning on staying there between Friday and Saturday and hiking Blood Mountain in the rain and possibly up to 30 miles an hour winds doesn't like sound very funny either but I had started with approximately four days of food staying an extra day on this side of Blood Mountain would mean they would take me six days to get there and that's stretching things so the question is what's the wisest decision to make there hike in the rain or hike without food neither sounds fun But I need food to hike. So I'm thinking that has to be the option despite everything else. Most of the time when I've been recording, it's been downhill by right here, it's uphill. The path is maybe a foot or two wide, leading up on one side and way down on the other. You might not notice the elevation change on camera, but here it is. Ooh, some pretty flowers. Well, I'm down to my t-shirt now. It's getting warmer. There's no wind. It's pretty nice. But even though I started with 1.7 liters of water and they said that one liter should be enough, I'm feeling like I'm drinking more than that. And there's still a few miles to the next water source. Unless the military has water out in the next gap. They do sometimes and the hikers are free to take it, but it's not always there. So you never know. We'll see when we get there. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around for the view. It's a nice view. I don't know if you can hear that, but the military is training nearby. Like a range or something I, I would expect. I don't know. Heard a helicopter earlier today. Okay. So I told you about my conundrum earlier about hiking Blood Mountain in the rain or staying without food. There are some people who have found a hostel on this side of Blood Mountain which may be the best options of, of, of them all. It will be the most expensive option because I would probably have to stay two nights being picked up Thursday night, staying there all Friday and starting again on Saturday. But with the amount of rain and wind, 
that's expected on Saturday. Hiking uh, there does not sound fun. And not having food doesn't sound fun either. So this seems to solve the conundrum. Uh, now we just have to hope there are enough beds to hold everyone who wants to stay there. And I need to talk to the guy I'll, I told I would share a cabin with that the plans have changed. Maybe his plans will change too, I don't know. Oh, well, there's 0.7 miles down to Cooper Gap. And sometimes the military leaves water there. I have like 600 milliliters of water left. I started with 1.7 liters. They said that one liter should be fine, but if there's no water there, I have another three miles to the next water source. And 200 milliliters per mile should be fine, but I feel like I've been drinking more water than that today. But it's hotter today and there's been, it's been a lot uphill. And uh, I've been talking to people, more people than I expected with military backgrounds or, or with close relatives that have military background than I expected. So uh, there's that. I have a military background too. Not the one I wanted, but it was the one I got. When I was that age, military service was mandatory, just had to do it. You could wish for certain assignments, but the army, the military in general really, but mostly the army, placed you where they needed you. Okay, well, since I'm going slower than normally today, I'm going to put my camera away and try to speed up a little bit. Okay, that not a very good picture. The sun almost straight behind me. Uh, I just had my first trail magic, Cooper Gap. For those of you that don't know what trail magic is, is basically someone giving away food and drinks. I got a liter of water, an orange, my first ever trail mix. Uh, and I took uh, or got a small can of Pringles to eat in camp. Churchill is a really nice guy. If you're watching this, thank you so much. And Cooper Gap is just a little less than two days out of Springer Mountain. So less than two days on trail. But it was wonderful sit down in one of his chairs, drink some water, have a snack. 
just awesome. Now it's about three and a half, sorry, about three and a half miles to campsite. And it's about quarter past four. I'm not going to get there anywhere near the time I set this morning. Uh, I may even arrive after dark, but I have my trusty headlamp in my fanny pack. So it is all good and it's charged. Charged it this morning. Well, it was almost fully charged, but I made sure it was fully charged before I left this morning. Oh, wow, that's a big rock. I'll show it to you a little later. Now we're actually hiking uphill. Uh, And I probably have the, my pack is the heaviest it's ever been today since I filled up with water. Oh, so good. Couldn't drink the whole liter in one sitting. So I saved it. But on the other hand, I dropped off some trash, which is another way of lightening your load. Okay, so for the big rock, there you have it. Nice big rock. Oh. This will be my Third night camping on the Appalachian Trail. If, yeah, third night. Since the first night was 0.2 miles onto the Appalachian Trail. So all three nights have been on the trail. And the, that will also be the furthest I've ever hiked I have or rather I have hiked three days before so that's the longest tomorrow morning or the furthest uh, tomorrow morning when I leave good shelter I will be hiking for more days than I've ever had before ever it's raining on Friday and with 30 miles of winds 30 miles an hour winds didn't really want to cross Blood Mountain in the rain and the wind so I'm actually spending Thursday night and Friday night at a hostel Woohoo! longer than I really wanted earlier than I wanted but I'm sure my mom is happy with that because I got to call her earlier okay now I'm putting this away here we have some more of that famous Appalachian Trail Green Tunnel that I told you about earlier. <sighs> oh. It's like seven o'clock. If I'm lucky, I'll get to camp before nightfall. Some people would would remind me that I don't believe in luck, so 
Here we are. <sighs> but it is nice. And now, in the shade, it's a little cooler because it's been warm. I've been sweating. My, my pack is giving me aches. Oh. But I have that small tin of Pringles waiting for me in my pack that I'm going to open when I get to camp. Well, not first thing. I have more pressing matters to take care of first. So we'll see how long this will take. Hi, this is Aiden in Kansai. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.